Hey YouTube, we're going to be going over to over it's a eight point blocking system with counter striking um, just punches. Um, it's basically a basic, you know, a training routine anybody can do in a small amount of space. Um, you know, it doesn't take much, you know, to practice the eight, the eight, the eight point blocking system, um, the traditional karate. Um, or Taekwondo, Taekwondo uses it as well. Um, even um, MMA fighters, they use it and stuff like that in their training as well. Um, that's how come sometimes they're good, you know, blocking, you know, their kicks and their punches and everything because. Um, Basically, the um, way I learned uh, of um, what the eight point blocking system is for, it's not really to block, it's really to receive the attack and to direct the attack. Um, what I mean by that is, it's because once you block the attack, once you block the attack, you're probably going to block it high, you know, if it's a strike to the body, and then you're going to probably redirect it down, and then you can do, like, another move, like a back fist, and then you can probably do, like, a punch, punch, you know, that's the reason why, um, the eight-point blocking system, it's not just a block, it's basically you're receiving the attack, you're being, you let an attack come to you, you know, and let it hit you. So, um, that's what the eight point blocking system is for. But it's supposed to be redirecting the attack while you're doing. Yes, it is a block, but you're basically using it um, just basically to receive the attack and redirecting the attack, not. Basically, just okay. I'm gonna block the attack. No, you're receiving the attack. That's all you're doing. And most people say, "Oh, it's just blocking." No, it's not just blocking. You're re what you're doing. You're redirecting your opponent's energy out of the way of contact. So, um, no, I'm not talking about chi. I'm not talking about. Um, voodoo stuff, whatever you want to call it. Most people say is um, knockout touch or whatever you want to call it. Um, but when it comes to um, blocking um, a strike or a kick of any kind, hand strike or a kick of any kind, or even a gun. Ground, you know how to like stable yourself where the person can't take you down. Um, those are just all receiving; they're not really blocks. They're, you're just redirecting your opponent's energy into a different direction. I don't know if that all makes sense to y'all, but that's how I see it. You know, that's how I. Um, think of traditional karate blocking and traditional uh, taekwondo blocking or even in Muay Thai blocking you know any, any art that does any type of blocking you're still redirecting the force of energy out of the opponent's attack so um, what we're going to do is we're going to get into this is known as Forward stance. We're going, we're going to start with the low line first. Because usually most people don't really practice the low line blocking. Because they don't think, oh, they can get hit in the groin. Or hit in the knee. Or in the thigh. So, when it comes to a fighting situation. We're going to do each movement 20 times. And, um. We're going to do it into just a block drill. 
Then we're going to add the punches next. Okay, we're going to chamber up. We're going to act like we're answering the phone. We're going to block, block, just go downward to about over your knee. Have this hand all the way tucked back tight. And we're just going to lock the, 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 the counter attack. This is for low line gate. Um, in Chi Kung Do, there's high line and low line gates. High, high right, high left, low right, low left. Same way as karate type one do, all at the same time. So, we're going to do 20. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sin, seven, it's twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I'm gonna say this: Do you need a gi? Do you need a gi to practice martial arts? And yes, a gi is beneficial, but do you really need one? No, you don't. You can use regular clothes to train in. Um, you don't need a gi to train in. A gi is to benefit, benefit, uh, benefit if you practice just traditional um, training. Um, but if you do other stuff besides traditional training, then normal clothes would, um, normal workout clothes would benefit. Again, chamber up into forward stance. And I'm gonna one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then what we're going to do get into horse stance. Be a little bit wider. Out. Four stance. Make sure your hands are at your side. We're going to do outer block. All you're doing is make a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. Then after you rest your legs a little bit, you know. Then we go into back stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then rear, rear stance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then, um, this is more advanced. Double knife hand block. Um, you gotta have a 45 degree angle in the front arm. Bring it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, on. Double knife hand block, um, it's kind of advanced, but really technically, um, it's basically to kind of like position yourself in a fighting stance, but it's basically a block, and then you can like counter at the same time if needed. Um, that's really what the knife hand strike box is for. Now this is more advanced, but you can't really do this in real life. Um, you can't really have this pose like this. This is how it's done, but I don't do it like this. I do it more like have fists on the hip, the other fist out like this, like a few inches. This one kind of like made a hammer fist at your gut. And this one on her side, and this time we're gonna be stepping out into back stance. We're gonna do high walk and side walk at the same time. This really is what it is it's for countering two opponents at the same time that are coming in at you. Two different angles. Again. There's two. Three. See how I have my hands? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
18, 19, 20. That double side block and the high block, like I said, it's more, it's more of like, okay, striking this way, and you're blocking this attack come in, and then counter, and then counter, you know, that's how I figured it out the other night, um, when practicing it. Um, so, like I said, you're basically, my instructor taught me how to put the palm on this, do it this way, but I modified it, so I don't like this way, because it's telegraphing it, this way is more better, because it's more non-telegraphing, and you want to make a 45 degree angle, not, not like this, a 45 degree angle, and this needs to be a 45 degree angle as well. And you're in a back stance. And what you can do after That's pretty much on what that technique is for. Um, it's basically countering two people after they do technique on you at the same time. And the outer block is for like um, midsection. You know, if something's coming at you in midsection, you know, like punches. You know, inside punches to the outside, low line, like, you no, know, basically that's what it is, um, that's what it's for, um, I hope you enjoy this video, I did not add no punches into it, um, into the blocking and strike, blocking, um, techniques, um, I'll do that in my next video, but, um, like I said, do you need a key to train it, no you don't, you can use Rotor clothes, you can use gym clothes, like a pair of sweats and a t shirt. Um, but if you do practice traditional martial arts, um, the gi is beneficial to have. Um, that way, you don't wear all your good clothes that you have. Um, me, I wear old clothes um, when I do train, I don't wear none of my new clothes. Um, but, um, so like I said, if you're on the street and you're doing, um, if you're walking down the street, somebody tries to bug you, um, well, you ain't gonna be in a gi, you ain't gonna say, hey, hold on. You know, you ain't gonna say, hold on, let me get into my gi, let me warm up. You know, it ain't like feudal Japan, you know, back in the old days, you know, where they go, you know, they, they go around warming up, you know, throughout the day, off and on, and they get into their traditional gis, and they challenge people to a fight, and it's, it's not like, that back in the old day. It's more, you know, if you're in your normal clothes and you're not even in gym clothes or wherever, then then basically um, if you're in regular clothes and gym clothes, basically, you know, that's more likely when you will be attacked on the street. You ain't gonna be in your martial art gi, you know, walking down the street and, um, because really, technically, if you do that, that's basically meaning that you're trying to provoke someone to have a fight with somebody. Um, but, where, unless you're going to your self defense class, you don't want to change while you get there. That's one way of doing it. But, um, if you're just wearing it, you know, just to show off, then, you know, but like I said, train on those techniques, you know, let me know on what you think on them, um, leave a comment down below in the comment section, um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, 
Um, hit the bell notification and you'll get every one of my videos as soon as they upload. And I'll see you in the next video. It's up done for signing out. Train hard, train smart. So I always say, um, if you if you can watch so many videos and you know know everything about the technique, know everything what to do on a technique, but you gotta put in the works to practice the technique yourself. Otherwise, why watch the video if if you ain't doing the training yourself? So there you have, it, folks. Get that money, um, get that money in, um, get the works in, and train hard, train smart, do your research, and like I said, go out there and train yourself and learn on what you learn off the video.